the Indian Navy's decision to acquire four Tapas drones despite performance shortcomings displays admirable foresight and a sense of responsibility. The Indian Navy intends to use the DRDO-developed drones for surveillance over the maritime zone. A consortium of Bharat Electronics Limited and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will manufacture the drones. The deliveries would be made faster by the consortium as the first bird would be ready for delivery within 24 months of signing the contract. The existing birds or drones would be used for carrying out trials and improving their capabilities. The tactical airborne platform for surveillance, or commonly known as the Tapas, Beyond Horizon 201 project was sanctioned as a mission mode project in February 2011 with an initial deadline of August 2016. The weight of the drone is 2,800 kilograms instead of 1,800 kilograms. Its operational ceiling is 27,000 feet instead of 30,000 feet and its endurance is 18 hours instead of 14 hours. India had defunded the Tapas project because it failed to meet joint service qualitative requirements. It was left to the DRDO management to pursue the project or otherwise. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. The Navy has given DRDO additional funds and time to improve the tapas. The additional funds will likely come from the Navy budget. The Navy is hopeful that DRDO will improve the drone's performance. There is definitely a scope for improving tapas performance in the short term. The use of composites, for example, would give the drone a performance boost. The best part is that it is low-hanging fruit. Adani Aerospace says that the indigenously built Bish T-10 and Albert Hermes 900 clone is an all-composite drone. One of the most important reasons for the Tapas weight spiral from 1800 kg to 2800 kg was DRDO's inability to build composite fuel tanks. They were forced to use metal fuel tanks instead, dramatically increasing its weight. Assuming that Adani Aerospace has indigenous capability to build composite fuel tanks, Tapas could be back in the game soaring to 30,000 feet. There is also scope for improving the performance of the drone through the use of a suitable turboprop power plant instead of a diesel power plant. DRDO, which initially planned to use turboprop engines, switched to diesel engines. Assuming that a diesel engine because a suitable turboprop engine was not available, it is possible that the lifeline to the project given by the Navy would help the DRDO resolve the issue by collaborating with a foreign turboprop manufacturer. Some of the Tapas's performance shortfall are due to its design, which is based on a conventional aerial platform. Most successful military unarmed aerial vehicles use a single engine twin boom design with a turboprop engine featuring a pusher propeller fitted aft of the fuselage. A twin boom design increases overall aerodynamic efficiency and reduces drag. The wider fuselage facilitates fitting sensors and generates body lift, allowing for a shorter wingspan. The design provides a clean and stable platform with a longer range, higher fuel efficiency and better maneuverability. The unarmed aerial vehicle is structurally stronger. The DRDO developed many technologies critical for drone operations while developing the Tapas, including the ATOL or the Autonomous Takeoff and Landing System, Satellite Communication, Indigenous Satellite Navigation, Inertial Navigation System and High Bandwidth Data Link. DRDO has additionally developed indigenous payload, gamble payload assembly, medium range electro optic GPA Mark IV. DRDO has been actively involved in developing a synthetic aperture radar for carriage on a male drone. Synthetic aperture radar is an important airborne imaging sensor used for surveillance. It is highly likely that the Tapas drones acquired by the Navy would be fitted with a synthetic aperture radar. The Indian Navy has made a smart move by reviving the Tapas project with what is roughly a LRIP or a low rate initial production order. By reposing confidence in indigenous technology and the DRDO, the Navy is ensuring that it will stay strong and grow increasingly self-reliant in the days ahead. It is possible that the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force will follow the Indian Navy's example and fund the development of the technology that they perceive to be critical for their needs. If you don't appreciate what you have, you will likely never get what you want. Jai Hind!